Thanks for clicking. This is my second update for Panners Bingo. Kana Gray created this fantastic ladies collab based on the game Bingo. So there are 75 numbers that could appear on a bingo card. Each of them has a prompt. There were several different cards to choose from. You choose a card and the idea is to pick a panning goal for an item. And once you meet that goal, you get to daub off that spot on your bingo card. And you of course can get bingo either with five in a row the traditional way or you can do a blackout. I'm going for the traditional way, but I might change my mind later, who knows. At the last update, I had not managed to daub off anything on my card yet, and so that's not the case this time. I'm going to be able to make my first marks, and we'll talk about what I already had on my board and the goals that I was working towards. One of the initial numbers that Kana called was B1, and that's hardest to pan, and I think the hardest thing to pan is a highlighter. So my goal is to hit pan on this Tarte Exposed Highlight, and I have used it twice in the last month, which is up from zero in the first month. So I have a ways to go on this yet, and we'll see how long it takes me. I'm glad I got this one in the very beginning. B8 is for your favorite beverage, and my favorite beverage is tea, and that's partly because there's so many different kinds to try. One of the ones that I like, particularly before bed, is chamomile and lavender. And so I have this chamomile lavender oil, and so this is something I've been using in my bath. I took two baths in the first month, and so I used it twice. I didn't take any in the month of February, so I have no progress on this. I still have about a third of this bottle left, and my goal is to finish it in order to mark off the bingo space. G50 is a nail polish. The nail polish I picked is this Essie nail polish in the shade Butler, please. My goal was to use it five times. I had two of those in the first update, and I did get the other three, so I'm at my goal of five. I love this color, but this formula seems to chip on me a lot. The quick dry formula from Essie is better in my opinion, so I'm going to stick with that formula from now on. But my first spot on my bingo card gets to dob off for G50. 072 is something that's left over from another project, and I picked this itty bitty black eyeliner. My goal is to finish it. I did sharpen it in the last month. This is a stiffer formula, so I don't need to sharpen it all that often. My goal is to finish it, and the first update I had used it 7 times, I'm now up to 15 uses. And we'll see how long this can keep going before I can't sharpen it anymore. That silver thing on the end does come off and then I won't be able to sharpen it. It's probably going to be another couple of months before I get to mark this one off my card. At the center of every bingo card is a free space, so that was a mini or a deluxe in this case. It was meant to be something easy to pan and I picked a La Roche-Posay sample cleanser. My goal was to finish it. I just had an itty bit left at the first update. You can see my marking there, but it is gone. I even cut it open, so this is used up. I did like this cleanser. I've never really had a holy grail cleanser, so I liked it. I didn't love it. I've honestly never found a cleanser that I felt like I needed to buy again, but we'll keep hunting. I have a different one that I'm working on now. One of the numbers Kana called for February as a new number was B12, and that is a flower. And I picked this Bath & Body Works shower gel in the scent Sweet Summer Kiss. There's flowers on the packaging, and one of the scent notes is jasmine, which is a flower. I haven't used this yet. You can see my marking where it started. And I knew that was going to happen because I was working on a bar of soap in my shower. I think I might finish that sometime in March and then I'll be able to start on this. My goal is to finish this product. N35 is candy and the product I settled on for that is this promotional lip balm in a spearmint scent. This was something that I got from a former dentist. My goal is to finish this and I know this is going to take a while. You can see through the packaging there. I tried marking this with nail polish and Sharpie. The Sharpie rubbed off and the nail polish chipped off. So, sorry, I don't have any actual markings, but my goal is to finish it, and we'll see how long that takes me. N38 is a mini, and it's specifically not a sample. So I picked this Nude Sticks Nude Fix Concealer. It's a mini size. There's not a whole lot in here. And I used this 26 times in the last month, which is the number of times I did my makeup. My goal is to finish it. It's going to be a few months yet. Concealers are slow going for me. We'll see how long this takes, but I can't mark this off yet either. I'll put my bingo card up on the screen. The numbers that have circles are prompts that I am currently working on. The ones that are filled in are the goals met, and you can see they're actually on a diagonal from each other. So three more in that diagonal if I manage to get Mingo in that direction. Kana did call six new numbers for March. Unfortunately, I have none of them on my card, so I'm not rolling anything in. You are allowed to roll things in that aren't called yet, but I'm choosing not to. I do have several products left to work on for this project, so that'll at least give me something to do. I won't be bored, I promise. And we'll see if I get luckier next time. Uh, good luck to all of you and this and all of your other projects. 
and I'll see you next month. Bye.